Hello and welcome to Fix, Drive, Ride, Fly. In today's episode, we are converting a 2.5 turbo diesel Mazda Bongo to run a secondary fuel tank. This is so the van can run on uh, veg oil or whatever other oil you can get your hands on without contaminating your main tank. I wanted to run the van on veg oil just because for uh, quite some time, but I haven't been able to bring myself to just pour that oil straight into the main tank. I know you can do it, lots of people do, but it's not something I wanted to do. So we've gone for the dual fuel conversion. There's a secondary tank in the back of the van. We run uh, pipes down to the main fuel tank and there I fitted two solenoids, which allow us to switch between the main tank and the vegetable oil fuel tank. The system also has a third mode, which is a purge mode, which allows you to feed off the diesel tank, but push the return fuel back into the veg tank. And that allows you to switch between modes uh, without the veg oil running into your main tank. So let's get fitted. Well, I've already fitted it, but now you can see me fitting it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is make space for the fuel tank. And the next thing to do from inside the van is locate the uh, top of the fuel tank so I can have a look at the lines to fit the solenoids. That is down here under the carpet. So I think we can fit the solenoids up on top of the tank where it's nice and dry. One there. And one there. Quite easy then for me to run the fuel lines down the back. I'll drill a hole in the bottom of the back of the van and run the electricals up here. So on these fuel solenoids, we have one which has got to go to the injector, uh, your main fuel line in. One will go to the diesel tank and one will go to the veg oil tank. And I fit these in line on top of the fuel tank. It's nice and dry there. They'll fit well. Uh, we've got two senders, one for uh, the main fuel line and one for the return. And I can then run the pipes around the back and the electrics the front so it should be nice and straightforward So that's the wires run under the van, wired into these solenoids and run down to a uh, good earth on the tank. Now to do the switch up the front. These are brilliant. I definitely recommend everyone to have these in their toolkit.
these again are a great set of tools I highly recommend them if you're doing any of these sort of jobs So we've got the switch wired in on the dash it's currently in the middle position so for this set of that will be on diesel push it up red light comes on that's in purge mode and down that's in veg oil mode right now to make the tank I need to do a change to this setup. We have got the veg oil on this primary circuit for ease of fitment, but really the diesel needs to be on this primary circuit because it protects the engine. If the electrics fail down to here, these stay off and the diesel runs. So I've got some changes to do. Okay, so the new way of fitting it is this is gonna run there. Diesel is gonna come into this one from here. And then this will be connected to the veg oil. Now, I'm going to connect it to the veg oil pipe first. I'm going to do that off camera because that is hovering up here. And now with this valve closed, it means I can move it around without getting oil everywhere. Swapping these over is a really messy job, so when you guys do it, do yourselves a favour and get it right first time. That's my advice. Because I'd had it the other way, the purge process would have pushed veg oil into the diesel tank and the whole point of this system is to protect our main tank sits much better the I'll make sure that none of these clips rub on anything and then once these lines are running under the van that will sit lovely and flat and I will play it we'll to pop back over the top and sit this There we are. That is now fitted properly. Okay, so with the van in diesel mode, it is running absolutely fine as we'd expect. We haven't changed the diesel system, we've just put the solenoid in line, so that's fine. The engine is now up to temperature. I've waited for it to get up to temperature so we can just make sure there's no issues with running coal veg oil for, for our first run and I flick the switch onto diesel mode 
uh, not onto diesel mode, onto the veg oil mode. And it'll take a few minutes for the veg oil to come down in the system, but we'll see what it does to the performance. So far, no problems at all. Idling fine, running fine. Oh my god. I thought people were joking when they said it would smell of chips, but I can smell chips already. <laughs> okay, that's not unexpected. But a lot more than expected. That really does smell of chips. I'm gonna want a burger by the time I uh, get to the end of this trip. So one side effect of running veg oil in your van might be that you'll put on weight. Because you'll be craving chips all the time. Now I don't know if it's because the hatch is still open at the back or if the seal is going because I'm sat above the engine in the bongo. Uh, but I don't normally smell anything with the, the diesel running, not I've noticed anyway, but I can definitely smell the, the uh, veg oil. <laughs> there is a bit more um, of a, a delay on the power, it's definitely lacking a little bit of the power, you know, we're only driving slow here, but I can definitely feel it. It runs fine, it seems to be pulling fine, it's changing gears fine, but is definitely a drop at the top end. So any of you guys running on veg oil, this is 100% pure veg oil. Uh, I haven't got any diesel in it, it's not mixed, and it is a cold morning uh, here in Wales. So let me know in the comments below, is it to do with the temperature? Is it, um, is it because it's pure veg oil and I'm better off giving it a mix? Let me know. Right, excellent. I, I think it's a success. What I'll do is I'll keep updating what the van runs like on veg oil. I'll run various other oils as well. Um, and we'll just keep an eye on it and I'll report back if it causes any issues. Okay, and that's it for today. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed what you've seen here, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified of when I upload other videos. Cheers.